the internet is not fucking real, okay? We were actually talking about what topic to speak on, and we just, we got going, and I just, I said, stop, I'm getting on the microphone right now, and we're talking, because here's what I see, right? I see my buddies swiping through their phone on Instagram, okay, liking these pictures of these women that Cosmopolitan could not produce a better looking model then, okay? Women whose asses look like you took two volleyballs and stretched a pair of yoga pants over a uh, broomstick, and then you tucked the volleyballs up in under the yoga pants, and then you took tan, smooth, buttery, silky legs out the bottom, and you get a picture of it, right? That's not fucking real. Asses that round have cellulite, okay? And if the ass does not have cellulite, it is a muscular ass, and there's no smooth, silky legs. There's fucking hamstrings with striations like this, okay? All you fit girls out there know that, right? Tell these boys those girls are full of shit, okay? Then you look, and you, you swipe down one more, and there's a guy, right? And he's all, he's all flexed, and he's doing some sort of pose. And you're looking at that, and right directly below it, it says, drink metrics protein with the implication that if you get a goddamn protein drink and you drink it and you do a little bit of weightlifting you're going to end up looking like chris bumstead no disrespect see but i'm a big fan but you ain't going to look like him by drinking protein i promise you that okay ifbb pro athletes use steroids it's a fact okay it's one of those things that's used to be a little more taboo than it is now but it's pretty much a well-known fact at this point the problem is they don't present that information to you in the same volume and intensity that they try to sell you shit okay that's what the internet is there for it's to sell you shit and if you haven't figured that out by now i'm sorry but you may want to tune in a little bit more frequently to the show because good uncle luke here is going to help you he's going to bring you value He's going to help uh, you wrap your mind around the fact that you are the product, okay? Let it sink in. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're the product. You're not the consumer. You used to be when you went to, um, you know, what's an old store? What the hell, like uh, Coffins or, I don't know, Ruben's younger than me. When you used to go to the store, you'd go in, you'd look at an ad, you'd purchase a product. They would take the data on the product that you sold or you, that, that you purchased, rather, that they sold you. And then they would build their ad campaigns. They would structure however they marketed this product to you based on what you bought. That ain't how it goes anymore, guys, okay? The internet is constantly collecting your data. Some of you know this, some of you don't. Some of you know it goes on, but you have no fucking clue to the extent, okay? Have you read your Google Terms of Service, okay? Have you read your Google Terms of Service, your Safari Terms of Service? I think that's the Apple operating system or OS or whatever it's called. Read the shit, guys. You signed it, okay? You same people that come into my car dealerships and make my salesmen sit and wait till 15 minutes after closing because you're reading every freaking line of the contract before you sign it. I got no problem with you. Read that shit. I do, okay? But why aren't you reading the terms of service that you're clicking? Okay, I accept. Yes, click. Yep. When you get a cell phone or you get a new app, all right? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google, fucking MySpace, dating myself there, that don't exist anymore, but any of these social medias or any of these mediums of communication that are bringing you value, bringing you pictures, bringing you products, they are absorbing your data. What do you click on? When they play a video for you, how long do you watch it? At what point in the video did you turn it off? Was it at the point with the girl with the round ass or the guy in the gray sweatpants, okay? They collect this information. I had somebody say to me the other day, uh, I was near my phone and I was talking about buying my sister a new horse saddle for her birthday because she's into, uh, you know, she's an equestrian, she rides. And I've never once looked up anything to do with horses in my phone ever since the day I got it. The next morning I woke up, I was taking a shit, I was reading the news and sure as shit, right on the side banner of the news, they were trying to sell me horse saddles. <laughs> what a coincidence, man. It was like my phone was listening to me. It is. Your phone is listening to you, okay? And no, I don't want to slap you. I just wanted your attention. Guys, when you sign those terms of service, okay, when you agree to those apps and those programs, you're agreeing to giving up every bit of privacy that you once had, or maybe you didn't even have. You know, you got to look all the way down to the Samsung, the the high, highway, highway, yeah, yeah, highway, um, Huawei, Huawei, right? 
Apple, whoever the producer is of the phone, when you sign into that, when you log in and you create your Samsung account or your Android account or whatever, right there is where it begins. We would like to humbly collect your data so we can make your experience better. That's the mask, okay? That's, that's like having somebody come to your door trick-or-treating with a piece of cardboard attached to your head that says, I'm a trick-or-treater, right? That's about the amount of effort that they put in to disguise what they're doing, okay? They simply use the words to make your experience better, and you as the consumer go, oh, isn't that nice of them? I really appreciate that. Sure, I accept. You may. No problem. While using the app, while not using the app, while I'm sleeping, while I'm banging my wife, while I'm cooking dinner, well, I don't goddamn care. You can have it all. Guys, there are apps, there are programs that you can't use without agreeing to those terms, okay? And if those apps and those programs are necessary for you to function in your day-to-day -day life, I get it. I'm not here to chastise you. I'm not condemning you. I can show you my phone. It's right full of uh, Netflix and uh, Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and Amazon and all that shit, okay? Because it's in society today and you need it to function, all right? But what I need to make sure that you understand is that you're no longer the consumer. You are the product. What do I mean by that? Your data is harvested daily by these places, and it's sold to people like me. No, not the man of the free, Luke, Luke the car dealer, right? With my marketing agency, I can ask them, okay, so we tend to sell cars to people who have less than perfect credit, okay? So what do people with less than perfect credit tend to do? Well, they tend to spend money at these three places. They tend to live in these four counties. They tend to buy these four products, and they tend to watch these types of videos. And then they take my advertisement, and they very, uh, what's a good uh, descriptive word to use? I don't want to say sleazily because it's really not that way. It's right in front of your face, but they, they do it in a way that's, that's not, it's subtle, right? It's subtle. There we go. It's a subtle. They subtly put my ad where you're going to see it, right? With a nice catchy color and a little call to action that gets you to put a credit application into my website. Now, it's an effective tool, okay? The reason I use it is because it's effective. It gets you to apply to my company instead of Joe Blows, okay? So there's a lack of evil in that process, okay? And the reason I say that and I separate myself from a lot of others is because, and, and other people doing, you know, similar things to me, other companies, other businesses that are just trying to sell you a product, okay? Because your, your eyes are there, okay? The same reason that I put my company on a billboard, the same reason that I put it uh, on a radio station when you're listening to the music, the same reason that when you go to the bar and you take a pee at the urinal and you look up, there's the ESPN ad for the game that's playing right in front of your face, girls, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, but Marketing agencies, businesses, media companies, okay, they put the information where you're going to look at it, okay? So if I place my ad at the bottom of your YouTube video, or if I place my ad, excuse me, in the middle of your Facebook thread story, whatever, is that evil? No, no, I don't think so. Here's what I think is a little bit less than savory. I think it's a little bit less than savory when they take data that you're not completely aware that they're taking, okay? For instance, audio data, when you're using certain apps, you allow them the opportunity to listen to your microphone, okay? So when you're using TikTok, okay, when you push the TikTok button and you start doing your TikTok, you and your little girls are doing your dance, right? Yeah, boom, boom. That's the Macarena. No, that's old. I'm dating myself, but um, I'm really having second thoughts about what I just did, but we're going we're gonna to air it anyways, Ruben. When you're doing that, okay, you've agreed to let them watch and listen, not just when you hit record. I promise you, you go into those terms of service. It doesn't say, we will only use your data after you press record, and we will stop the minute you press stop. It doesn't work that way while you're using the app. So now let's give you a hypothetical, right? So you make that TikTok, you take that video, you uh, post that post, whatever, and then you leave that app running, okay? I'm not familiar with the iPhones, but for the Android users, you know when you go through and you, you hit your little box and it shows you all the open programs and you gotta shoom, 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 shoom to get rid of them all, make them go away so your phone don't run so slow, okay? Those are all running, they've been running. And you'll see that there's one that's been running since you used it last night, okay? The entire time you were using that, okay, it was mining your data. It was listening. It was listening for keywords, catchphrases, things that might help them sell you to the potential buyer. That potential buyer might be somebody that's selling you a product, that wants to sell you a service, that wants to show you a particular video or a political video to get you kind of moving in a different direction, okay? It's all for sale, guys, all right? And 
it's important to me that if you're going to be my viewer and you're going to be my listener, you understand that we do the same thing to an extent. We watch who watches us, okay? We don't, at this point anyways, we don't monetize. I'm not here to try to sell you anything or to make money. And guys, if that changes in the future, don't look back on this video and say, you asshole, you lied to us. No, I'm just talking about the here and the now. Now, if we get bigger, we get a bigger studio, we start making more videos and we have big expenses and we need you know a sponsorship here or there to keep the motor running, then that may be necessary. And anybody with half a brain that's watching it will understand at that point. OK, but what I'm saying is for, for right now in the here and the now, we don't monetize. We're not here taking this data to try to uh, sell you anything other than our show. OK, and we are trying to sell you our show because we believe that there's value here. I know that there's value here. I know that if I was a kid, when I was a kid, rather, if I had the man of the free or I had some show like this to watch and just bring me little nuggets of information, okay, on a daily or weekly basis that helped me do things like learn how important selling was, fix my credit, learn how to negotiate, understand the dangers of steroids, you know, watch interviews with people who were, you know, very low on the totem pole that made their ways up to serious success, I would have ate that up and I would have been much better off. Uh, at a much, much earlier age, okay? So that's all I'm here to do. I'm here to be the good uncle. I'm here to try to bring you information. This is all funded by me. This is done completely, uh, you know, voluntarily by me to bring you value, okay? To, to build relevance, to build my personal brand and in hopes that will eventually become something that people can watch regularly and get value from and, and help navigate this, the, the crazy political climate, to help navigate what's going on in the marketplace, to help navigate what's going on geopolitically in the world world, the climate, whatever. If it's important, we're going to be talking about it right here. But if we're going to be talking to you, we want you to be educated, okay? And what we want you to know is that this medium of communication that we all exist on every single day, when we're in our car and it's on automatic drive, using your Apple CarPlay or your Android Auto, it's connected to the internet. When your kids are in the back seat of your Cadillac Escalade and they're on the Wi-Fi uh, that's, that's built into the vehicle that's done by satellite, they're connected to the internet. When your alarm clock starts playing the song that you want to hear at six o'clock in the morning directly from iTunes. It's connected to the internet. When you're in the shower and your Bluetooth speaker is playing music for you that's playing off Spotify that's on your phone, it too is connected to the internet. Your phone, your computer, your car, your GPS, your Bluetooth headset, yes, your Beats, they're connected to the internet via Bluetooth, via the internet, whichever device is bringing the content. It's everywhere, guys. Your car, your GPS, it's everywhere and it's okay, okay, because it's, it's where we're at as a society and as a country and as a world, but it's always okay to play the game and to try to win the game as long as you know the rules of the game that you're playing, okay? And it's important for us at Man of the Free that you, our listener, understand what's going on out there, okay? So guys, stop trying to find the girl that looks like the Instagram model because unless you're gonna walk around with a screen that's transparent, but once you hold it over a girl, it immediately turns her into the filtered image that you want to see, you're never gonna see what your mind's eye wants to see because what you were shown was not real, okay? Folks, when you look at that athlete on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, or whatever the case may be, and you say, my God, just the shadows on the abs and the, the, the height of the traps and the way that person's put together, my God, I wanna get there, okay? You can, I promise you, but you have to take what that person's taking, you have to eat what that person's eating, you have to work out with the same intensity that that person's working out. But more importantly, when it comes time for you to stand in front of the mirror and try to see if you look just like them, make sure you've got your lighting just right. Make sure you've got your photographer at just the right angle and make sure that you put the filter on your existence that matches the filter that they used on that picture, okay? Because guys, the internet is not real life. And as we move forward towards meta universe and augmented reality and neuro link from our friend Elon Musk, all of these things have potential to benefit us in a very positive way. And I mean that, okay? I don't hate on anybody. Anybody that's looking to try to progress the society that I live in forward and help us meet the needs that are gonna be coming towards us, whether it is geopolitically, whether it is health and wellness, whether it is media and entertainment, if people are actively working to try to make my world better, okay, if they're 
rippling the water, okay, if they're kind of bucking the trend, breaking the curve, doing things that are a little radical, okay, as long as I believe the motivations are pure and it's simply for progress of society, I will not hate. I will always look to move forward. I will always look to progress, okay? But I keep my eyes open, okay? I keep my head on a swivel. I don't live in paranoia. I live in awareness, and you should too, okay? So if you don't want to do the hard work and you just want us to kind of figure it out for you, stop back in, visit with us periodically as we bring you this content because we will help you navigate the storm, okay? But more importantly, guys, just keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, stay listening, stay paying attention, stay aware of what's going on around you because on the screen, it isn't real. What you can touch, feel, and smell is what you have to deal with because that's reality. So stay aware, but more importantly, Stay free.